the girls up. I'd like to give you a little history about the girls' basketball. Uh, a couple of years ago, um, I went up and they had the girls from FAU, the girls' basketball team. And I was honored to be the honorary coach. Stand over there. Uh, for play uh, for Kay, who is a coach at N was a coach at NC State who had breast cancer. And there is one year throughout the whole basketball year that every college wears pink uniforms, their coach dresses in pink, and they're raising funds for research. So um, actually, I saw there wasn't very many people in the audience. I thought, wow, these girls are here, you know, to work with our kids. Why don't we take a trip up there and watch them play basketball every once in a while? So I think the second year or third year in a row, Josh, what is it? Uh, the girls are going up Saturday? Yes. Right. Saturday, and I'm hoping I can still go. I got a couple things. Uh, but they're going up Friday. Oh, it's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. That would be tomorrow. tomorrow. That would be tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, we'll have to work that one out. But anyway, um, they're going up to watch the FAU girls play, and it's really a good experience for them. These girls are so awesome with our, our kids, it's unbelievable. And a lot of them want to be coaches, you know, for junior high and high school when they uh, grow, when they graduate. So it's, a, it's a, a neat thing that we have with FAU, and I'm glad they're so close to us. But first, we'll do the eight through 11, and I've already uh, met these young women, and they both had good basketball teams, played great. The first one is from the eight to 11 basketball league, Danielle Berger. Yay!